Donald Trump's lawyers are accused of filing ludicrous legal appeals for why they say the former president doesn't need a gag order ahead of his federal election trial. Former federal prosecutor Joyce Vance fired back, saying threats against Trump's legal team. Judge overseeing the former president's civil trial in New York and court staff were irrelevant to discussions about whether a gag order was necessary in case. The hearing focuses on Trump's alleged criminal intent to overturn the 2020 election results. He pleaded not guilty to four charges. The former president has denied any wrongdoing and said the case was part of a politically motivated witch hunt to derail his 2024 presidential bid. Trump is still the frontrunner for the Republican Party nomination. On Thanksgiving, the Justice Department filed court filings and sent documents filed in New York to D.C. The Justice Department said the gag order against Trump should be reinstated in the civil case because Judge Arthur Engeron and law clerk Allison Greenfield have received hundreds of threats harassment and anti-Semitic messages since Trump began attacking them on social media. Circuit Court of Appeals is considering narrowing gag order Judge Tanya Chutkin issued in the federal election case to prevent Trump from publicly attacking potential witnesses at trial. Federal prosecutors used arguments made in New York to argue why the warrant against the former president should remain in federal litigation. In response, Trump's legal team wrote appeals court, accusing Justice Department of engaging in an impermissible attempt supplement appeals record with irrelevant information try preserve gag order. To date, the prosecution has not presented any evidence of alleged threats or harassment of any prosecutor, court official, or potential witness in this case. Trump's lawyers said. This falls short of the robustness of evidence required to justify a prior restriction. Writing on his blog, Vance criticized Trump's lawyer's claim, saying the former president's rhetoric led to threats and harassment in real life. For example, former Georgia election workers Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss were targeted by Trump supporters for false claims of voter in the 2020 election. Trump responded today by implying that he is not responsible for other people's actions. But this is an exhausting and ridiculous effort to avoid blame at this point. Vance wrote, even though Trump claimed years ago that he was unaware of the impact his words were having on his followers, that era is long gone. We cannot say this loud enough or often enough Trump remains our danger, Vance added. Anyone who doesn't understand that they a loved one, their children or grandchildren, could be the next to be subjected to the same treatment as Judge Engeron's law clerk Fulton County. Election workers Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss were not paying attention. The risks are very real. A lawyer has lashed out at the Trump legal tea.